welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the optical drive in the 2010 21.5 inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static free work surface. We are now ready to begin. First, attach each of the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the glass front of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then set the glass aside. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to detach the display itself. To do this, we'll need to remove eight Torx T10 screws, four on the left, and four on the right. You may want to use a pair of tweezers as you remove each screw to keep them from getting away from you, especially the ones located near magnets. Then, being careful not to touch the screen itself, gently pull the display forward slightly. In the upper left corner, you'll need to disconnect the vertical sync cable. Simply slide it from its connector using the tabs. Next, disconnect the backlight power cable by pushing down on the connector to release the retaining tab and pulling the cable and connector downward. Then, detach the DisplayPort cable near the center right by first opening the handle by lifting up on the black plastic tab, then lifting the connector straight up and out. Finally, slide the display temperature sensor cable up and out of its socket, much like you did for the vertical sync cable. Keeping your hands on the outside edge of the display, you can now lift it up and out of the iMac and place it in a dust, static, and oil-free place. Disconnect the optical drive temperature sensor cable from its socket by sliding it out by the tabs along the top. Peel back any tape that may be holding the cables in place, then feed the cable out from behind the heat sink plate until it hangs free. Next, remove these four Torx T10 screws holding the drive carrier in place. Gently pull the rear of the drive away from the iMac to expose the SATA connector, which you can then detach. This connector may be a little tight. All you need to do is wiggle it back and forth until it comes free. You can now pull the drive back slightly, then lift it free of the iMac. Gently peel off the foam pad covering the heat sensor, then carefully lift the sensor itself away from the drive. Next, we'll need to remove these two Torx T10 screws holding the drive in the carrier. Then these two on the other side. With the assembly facing up, gently lift up on the rear of the drive to loosen the foiled tape along the front edge. Gently peel the tape away from the drive. You can now slide the drive out of the carrier and set it aside. Depending on the model, your new optical drive may or may not come with the front bezel attached. If your drive didn't come with a bezel, you can skip ahead to the next section. If your drive did come with a bezel, we'll need to remove it before proceeding. The bezel is held in place by a series of tabs, which can be unlatched with a small screwdriver or nylon tool. Two on the top, one on the side, and two on the bottom. Once these have been detached, you can simply slide the bezel off the front of the drive and set it aside. Take your new drive and set it most of the way into the carrier. You can then slide the drive forward into place so that these two holes go over these two pins along the front edge of the carrier while these three circular tabs sit on the top of the drive. You 
You can then fold the tape back down and reseal it. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Next, replace the four Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. Finally, replace the thermal sensor and foam pad in roughly the same place they were on the original drive. Again, there should be enough residual adhesive to allow them to stick. The drive assembly is now ready to install back into the iMac. Align these two holes on the front of the assembly with these two pins in the iMac and slide them together. Next, reattach the SATA cable to the drive. Then, set the drive assembly flat into its bay and secure it into place with the four Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. Finally, thread the thermal sensor cable under the heatsink. Then plug it back into its socket and reseal any tape that you may have pulled up. You can now set the LCD back into the iMac, once again being careful not to touch the screen itself. Reattach the LCD temperature sensor cable by simply sliding it back into place. To reattach the DisplayPort connector, first make sure the handle is flipped upwards. You can then slide it into the connector, then flip the handle down to lock it into place. Reattach the backlight power cable on the lower left by simply sliding it back into place until it clicks. Finally, plug the vertical sync cable back in. You can now lean the display back so it lays flat. Take a narrow screwdriver and slide it through the top screw hole in the display and into the hole in the iMac. Use the screwdriver to align the second screw holes and insert a screw so that the screen doesn't fall. Repeat the process on the other side. Finally, replace the remaining screws and tighten them all down. Use your tweezers if the magnets make installing the screws difficult. You can now set the glass back into place as shown, but don't close it yet. Use your microfiber cloth to make sure there's no dust trapped in between the screen and the glass. You can then close the glass, which will be held in place by the magnets. You may need to squeeze slightly near the top to make sure the glass sits flush. Finally, remove the suction cups and wipe the front down so that it's clear of smudges. You may now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.